Hi, I'm Mike. I'm an animator here at Pixar Animation Studios. I hope you just saw that great video of my buddy Garrett drawing Cruz Ramirez. Today I'll be drawing another new character, Jackson Storm. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. So let's get drawing. So drawing cars is inherently a little more challenging, I feel, because um, they're, you know, they're vehicles and normally inanimate. But here at Pixar, we love to imbue uh, some of these objects, your everyday objects, with personality. Now with Storm, I love to start more with the windshield here. Uh, windshields, the windshields kind of set these characters apart a little bit. And um, they're the eyes, and you know, as they say, the eyes are the window to the soul. And I like to use um, this as a starting point so that I can kind of nail down the personality and the attitude. Now let's see. We get his eyelids here, you know, and then we'll get his eyes. Now, Storm is one of our new characters in Cars 3, and he's the hot young rookie that's coming onto the scene. And uh, looks like Emily's got a question for me. Um, what is my favorite Pixar character? Well, let's see, my favorite Pixar character. Uh, it's kind of hard to decide sometimes because it's kind of like picking from all your kids, I guess, huh? But I think uh, I'd have to go with uh, Bob from The Incredibles. That was the first film I worked on here, uh, The Incredibles. I was really lucky to be part of that. And, uh, you know, there's so many, uh, you know, I loved uh, working on Russell and Up and uh, Remy uh, and Luigi, uh, I mean, Linguini from uh, Ratatouille. But, you know, the list kind of goes on and on. But I've, I've actually worked on all three of the car films. So um, I do enjoy working with Lightning Queen and the gang. So, here I am drawing the front part, or the hood, of Storm. Now Storm, he is, you know, he's a, kind of a muscular character, uh, if I could say that about a car. But we, you know, used a lot of angles and more linear mo uh, lines with him. And drawing this little hood here kind of helps to kind of help solidify the front. Now, he, there's a break here. There's a front plane and a bottom plane here for him. And, you know, you always kind of keep things in mind, like perspective and the planes that you're drawing. Um, here's drawing in some of the headlights here. And looks like there's another question here. Are you using a Wacom tablet? Yes, I am. I am using a Cintiq. Uh, I don't know how many inches, 22 inches maybe? Uh, but yes, here at Pixar, we work both traditionally on paper and pencil, and uh, you know, a lot of us are digital artists, you know? Uh, really all of it, they're all tools um, to us. So the most important thing is uh, learn how to draw well and put a lot of time drawing no matter what you're, you're either using a computer or pencil, paper and pencil, because it, it's really just a tool. So now that I've got the front end, now the interesting thing with uh, Jackson Storm is um, we try to find a different motif for his expression, or at least a design language. And you'll notice when hopefully you go watch the movie on June 16th, Cars 3 comes out, that we uh, use a more triangle shape for him. You know, try to echo in a lot of the design that we put into uh, the character itself. I'm trying to bring this down a little bit. He's got a pretty large front here. And now that the front is looking pretty good, 
So if you're just joining us, my name is Mike. I'm an animator here at Pixar Animation Studios. And right now I am drawing Jackson Storm. And he's a brand new character in Cars 3. I'll draw the wheel well here, which is important. Now I'm going to start building back. Now the thing that is challenging with Cars is to try to maintain the integrity and the sculptural aspect and perspective and volume and all those great things so he is he's got this great design in the back he can really wide and flared and then here will be his other wheel well and I'm trying to think I'm trying to keep all these things in mind here all the, the perspective here and then I will just kind of clean this up a little bit clean some of this up here now he's you can notice he's kind of half lidded because he is a very confident, very sure of himself character. Uh, another question came in, how did you get a job at Pixar? Very good question. Um, so I have been studying animation since I was a kid. I went to uh, California Institute of Arts and I studied animation and drawing and film there and I um, was lucky enough to get my first job at uh, Walt Disney Feature Animation uh, down in Los Angeles doing hand-drawn films. Um, so that's where I got a lot of my um, yeah, skills and experience uh, drawing and animating. So you'll see I'm kind of blocking in some of the tires here. It's it, it, always think dimensionality. I'm trying to block in the tires here and you know I try to rough in some of the treads here he's really low profile because he's one of the next gen racers and he's really low to the ground he is a really cool looking car I think you guys are really going to enjoy it uh, another question coming in do you draw or animate characters I actually do both um, I'm pretty lucky here I get to kind of do both I'm an animator here so I draw uh, you know, I draw traditionally on paper, I draw for myself, but then on uh, the films, I draw and animate on the computer. But right now, you're seeing me draw um, the characters, um, not actually animating the models that we use. So here you go, I've drawn the back tire here. Now you gotta, you know, you want to make sure you've got these things lined up here. Thinking perspective, things like that. You know, I just kind of show you those lines here. I want to kind of clean this up here a little bit. It's looking pretty good. Now he's got pretty low profile tires. Right, so I'm going to get that in there. And you know, the, the interesting thing is, you know, uh, working on this movie, we try to, um, when we pose the cars, you'll notice when, when there's an opportunity to, we try to turn the tires out a little bit, you know. Uh, it just looks more dynamic. You even see, you'll notice in car ads or something, they'll have the tires turned out a little bit just to have a little more dimensionality to it. Uh, another question from Milan. Uh, first animated movie you saw? Whew. First animated movie I saw might have been Fantasia, the first one. Um, uh, earliest memories probably Winnie the Pooh or The Little Mermaid. Uh, I, you know, again was fortunate to work on a, a lot of the traditional films. My first traditional animated film was Hercules. Um, so I'm gonna get the windshield in here. It's starting to come together now. One thing with perspective is you want to get a flow, but you see these, there's overlapping lines and shapes. That's how you're going to maintain solidity and volume right if you like this video remember to subscribe and ring the bell that way you'll never miss another Pixar live video right here on YouTube okay I'm going to start drawing in just you know this is a sketch so it's good to have some detail in here not 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 too much you want it to be too distracting just again to add to, to dimensionality to the tires And 
here, I've got his... I'm going to darken the eyes and you can see a little bit here. You know, now the personality is really coming through. We have this stair step on him on his eyelids and it's kind of our way of differentiating the left and right eye so that we have a uh, range in our acting when we're animating these characters and lastly well maybe not lastly I gotta maybe give a little bit of detail here in the back and let's not forget he's got this really cool spoiler so I'm gonna draw that in for you guys there you go kinda looks like you know, the end of a plane, like the wingtip there. Tasha's got a question. What brushes are you using? Um, I am just using some custom brushes, you know. Um, it's kind of like a inky kind of a line here, which is nice. Um, yeah, Photoshop's really great that way, you know. Uh, again, we do a lot of work digitally, and we, you know, don't forget to just draw on paper and pencil as well, like Garrett did a great piece with um, drawing on pencil and paper and there's value to both both those both those things now let's anchor this down I think right now um, the thing that that the thing that's missing is a ground plane I think it's really important I see a lot of people not, not just cars but just in general if you can ground your characters on a plane right you can even move that around if you don't feel like, you know, that's where you want it to be, you know, like something like that. Um, but the, you know, I learned this, this is a cool trick. I learned this from a dear friend of mine. He actually is the head of story on Cars 3, Scott Morse. Um, and he showed me this trick to like, you know, add some details instead of perspective lines or whatnot. If you can add some details to the ground plane here. It kind of anchors the character and it gives him a setting. Um, that's really important. I've got another question from Junai. Hope I'm saying that right. Tips for beginning beginner digital artists. Um, you know, I, I kind of would think of you as an artist in general, not so much. Don't think about yourself as a digital artist because I think you need to um, just continue to draw and learn um, and expand your horizons. Uh, draw live, you know, as much as you can. Draw from people around you, things around you. Um, always carry a sketchbook. I think that's really important. Um, here I will put a real rough kind of shape here. You see this shape I'm putting down? This is going to help anchor a uh, storm. And the shape is a shadow. And I'll just do a quick, quick line work here to kind of add to uh, the solidity, you know, grounding him. Now, what we have, what do we have to do next? What do you guys think is missing? Let's add some color, huh? Let's have some fun with this. So I will take one of these uh, brushes I have here. And I like this brush a lot. This is kind of like a kind of feels like a marker, which I like. Kind of gives it a traditional feeling to it. So I just try to block in the shapes here. Try to block in, just get an even coating, but it's okay to see the streaks too, you know, you kind of want that that kind of natural organ organic quality to it. And you can really start seeing shapes. I, I start to, I, th I think a lot of these things as shapes. I mean, now that I've blocked out the front here, you can see what I'm talking about with the triangular mouth shapes and the angles, the angles all coming in. Sarah's got a question, favorite memory at Pixar? Uh, I've been at Pixar for a long time, so uh, close to 15 years and got a lot of great memories here. I think I would have to go back to Incredibles. That probably was the best memory of a film uh, working on it with uh, Brad Bird and that team. Uh, it's really great. I felt like we were doing something really special on that film. Um, so let's see. I'm just going to add a little bit more to this here. Right? I'm going to get the eyelid shape here. You'll start seeing it come together now, that color's being added. 
you can see his face better, and his personality kind of coming through here. Now it's kind of flat right now, so it's nice to kind of just, you know, get some of these pieces shaded in a little bit, you know, it gives it dimensionality and form. Now, like I was saying up, uh, earlier, this is the top plane and there's a line on Storm in the front that goes backwards a little bit and that tends to be a little darker. So I'm going to go and darken this part. And that feels, again, you know, think about the planes of the face, whether you're drawing a car or a person, you know, and thinking about how the light is hitting all of that. See, now you get, can you see that? A little more dimensionality to it. If you're just joining us, my name is Mike. I'm an animator here at Pixar. Currently, I'm drawing Jackson Storm. It's a brand new character. You'll get to meet him when Cars 3 is released on June 16th. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. Let's uh, start getting those tires in here, all right? I think that would be nice. Let's see, sorry. Mm, I will... Uh, Let's use this here. Tires, you know, again, just to keep this thing simple. There you go. Get this shape in here. Get this. Tires. Don't need to be anything more than really a gray tone, but you know, if you're using the white, right kind of brush, you see I could kind of multiply and kind of add a little bit of depth to it, a little bit of complexity. A little bit of shading, a little bit of shadow. Now, as for the rims, his, his rims are actually kind of dark. Um, I don't know if that's, maybe that's a little too light. Let's try, whoops. Um, let's try a darker shade here. I think this might work better. There you go. And I'm kind of drawing and just getting some of these shapes down, you know. And then knocking them down in value, make, make sure it multiplies so we can still see that, some of that line quality. Kathleen, you've got a question. You're left-handed. <laughs> Every experiment drawing with the right. You know, that's a really good question. Um, I was told uh, in my drawing classes, you know, whenever you get stuck drawing, and your, your drawings just aren't looking right, uh, it's good to experiment and maybe try to draw in a different way. And uh, one way to do that is actually drawing with your other hand. It kind of changes the way you're, you, 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 you're looking at the model or uh, just the way your brain works and you might discover something new, so that's always kind of fun. Now, I know he's really gray right now, so it's nice to add maybe a little bit of color pop in here. All right, and we'll multiply that. I'm just adding a little bit more tone in here. A little bit more depth. There you go, starting to come together a little bit. I might have forgotten a little bit of storm here, which is fine. Just fill it in. Maybe I'll take this here. Make sure I got that side windshield in. You know, it's feeling pretty good now. Katie, prefer drawing on computers or papers? Uh, I like both. Um, there's an honesty and sincerity that comes out of just being um, free about paper and pencil. You know, it's disposable. You can bring it wherever you are. You don't need to lug a computer around or an iPad around. So I really enjoy uh, drawing for that. But, you know, as you can see, I built this up out of nothing. And it's great to have all your tools and you can kind of add color. You can experiment. I think that's all really fun. Um, let's add a little bit more detail now. We're going to have, uh, we'll add an overlay level here. And I'm going to just pop some of these headlights up. 
think that'll be fun. And just in general, like, I think it'll be great to add, you know, a little bit of highlighting. Maybe, maybe we'll try something else here, huh? I stay with what I was doing there. Just make it a little subtler, you know? When you can define these forms like this, you know, this is kicking up here, catching some light. This is all catching a little bit of light. Maybe right here on this corner, he's catching a little bit of light. Dylan, you've got a question. Did you study in room A113, CalArts? Huh? Uh, I did. Uh, we had classes there. Um, it's, that's, a, that's a good question. You are uh, definitely observant about the uh, CalArts legacy. That A113 is an Easter egg in a lot of uh, films that um, are directed by CalArts alumni, so definitely look out for that. Um, now, Storm is actually a little darker than this, so the f now, now talking about digital painting, the cool thing is I can duplicate that and knock it down a little bit, and I feel like that feels pretty good now. Um, let's keep building on this. Now, uh, He's, he may be really dark, almost black in the movie, but I think this could be a really fun thing to do here as well, where we can add, he has like a blue striping and highlights on him, and it looks really cool, so I'll add a little bit of that to it. You know, he has kind of this S on the side, you know. From this angle, you can't really see it, but I'm just gonna add it for some detail. He has some of that detailing running through here as well. I don't know who's asking this question, but what was your first job? Uh, my first job was uh, working at uh, Disney Feature Animation um, in Burbank uh, as a rough in-betweener. So back then, uh, we uh, drew and animated on paper, and I was an in-betweener, which is uh, basically an assistant to an animator, and we would draw between the key poses and help try to, you know, fill in the movement, and it was kind of a, a apprenticeship in a sense of you're working with all these great talents, and you get to study and learn the, the art and the craft. Uh, that was really, really special. Um, so Storm has these blue highlights, which are really cool. Here, um, I'm gonna make sure I've got all this down here. We're getting a little closer now, so I'm gonna just darken the tires in a little bit. Since he, we, you know, we got him a little darker now, so there you go. I think we're, we're close. I'm gonna add one more thing here. So if you like this video, remember to subscribe and ring the bell. That way you'll never miss another Pixar live video right here on YouTube. Let me do this last little thing here, and I will add uh, a shadow to really anchor it. I think Garrett actually spoke of this, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, if you maybe make that a little darker, right? And here you go. Add this drop shadow. It'll help anchor light, um, sorry, <laughs> Jackson Storm, almost at Lightning Queen. I've drawn him quite a bit too, so. Uh, so you see that it, it feels grounded and anchored onto the, sh on, onto the, the, the ground plane here. And you, you could keep it loose, you know, you don't have to really noodle on too many things. Um, you know, even these rims, maybe I can knock them down a little bit if I wanted to, but I think that's feeling pretty good right now. What do you guys think? Do you guys have any more questions? I hear, I think I hear another question coming in. <laughs> so I will just keep, I'll just keep messing around here. You know, I feel like I could knock these down a little bit, just in general. You know, put that in the shadow. Oh, you know what I forgot? Highlights. Highlights are always good. Here, let me do a chisel brush here and get a little bit of white and let's see if this is gonna work huh right little highlights here and there are good 
on the tires. And I, I like this kind of using the marker thing just because it, it lends itself to um, kind of this uh, automotive design drawing. Um, and let's just play it a little bit here. I can't draw. Can I still animate? Ah, oh, that's a good question. I don't know who asked that, but it is a good question. Um, you know, uh, just because you um, are not a good draftsman, it doesn't mean you can't animate. I know a lot of uh, guys and gals here and elsewhere that are phenomenal animators. Uh, I, I guess what is most important uh, are the ideas at this point. Don't get um, don't get caught up about you know whether you know uh, drawing or not. Even drawing, keep it fun. It's it shouldn't be uh, stressful. There's always going to be someone that can draw uh, better. Um, just you know, kind of find your strengths. Find your strengths and and just you know keep working on it. Keep working hard, and you never know. You never know what you're going to be able to achieve. So thanks so much for watching this episode. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell. That way you, miss, you won't miss another Pixar live video here on YouTube. Also, if you didn't get a chance to check it out, check out Garrett's video on drawing Cruz Ramirez right here on YouTube. And be sure to check out Cars 3 on June 16th. Thanks a lot. Appreciate the time.